All right, guys, welcome to our unique devotion. Um, actually missed a few days here. Uh, we took a little uh, trip, if you will, and uh, spent uh, some time with my wife. Uh, so there just wasn't, uh, we just didn't make the videos. But that doesn't mean that we didn't pray. It doesn't mean that I didn't uh, uh, do a little devotion time on my own. Um, sometimes it's good to just take a break a little bit from, from something. So anyway, here we are again. We're in Ephesians chapter 6. And uh, this is going to be verses 5 through 9. It's entitled Bond Servants and Masters. So here's the question first. Think about it while I'm reading. Are you obedient? There's many different ways that you can think about that three-word question. So here is the scripture. Bond servants, be obedient to those who are your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling in sincerity of heart as to Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as bond servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service, as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he is a slave or free. And you, masters, do the same things to them, giving up threatening, knowing that your own master also is in heaven. And there is no partiality with him. So, no one gets away with doing whatever they want here. <laughs> You've got the people that are the bond servants, um, the workers, the laborers, um, doing doing their normal routine. But instead of he says to do it with a little bit of fear and trembling, but he also adds in sincerity of heart. As to Christ, it's not so much like, you know, in the corner crying, uh, trembling in fear, as much as it is um, because of the other words that are added, more out of respect and trust. Sometimes we may have to force that trust a little bit to have faith <laughs> in the trust, though we may feel like we shouldn't be trusting what's being said. We have to have faith in that and move forward as though they were Christ and listen to them and go with it. And if it doesn't work out, you know, do work on fixing the problem together. The only way to do that then is also masters, the owners of businesses, um, the people who are the bosses, this one's for you. You know, don't treat the workers like slaves. Don't beat them and threaten them. He used the words threatening, but as as though as though the person you're working uh, for managing and um, keeping in line, if you will, as though they were Christ. How would you treat the Son of God if he worked for you? Um, little bit of depth there to that three word question are you obedient so think about that today from a worker standpoint and from an uh, a person in charge standpoint both of you can look at it from both ways because everyone's in charge of something probably somewhere along the way and everyone works for someone else somewhere along the way so are you obedient there it is um till next time i hope you have a wonderful day I hope God gives you all the blessings you deserve, and even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Um, the last couple of videos, I did actually post some pump-up music. So you can go back and, and uh, scroll through the descriptions and listen to that music. Um, this one has pump-up music. So feel free to scroll down and listen to that. Check it out. Enjoy it. And that's it. Again, until next time, have a wonderful day.